Yo, Irving City Council, how you doing? My name is Tiny, and I'm a professional sports gambler. But unfortunately, my career is at a standstill because I got six baby mamas all in the DFW Metroplex. So I can't live in a state that's got legal gambling in a sense it will be March Madness. I'm coming up here to beg y'all to make sports gambling legal in the city so I can stack my paper and pay for the illegitimate, illeg illegitimate children. I know some people think sports betting is risky, but I got an unbeaten system that can put money in all y'all pockets. Seriously. My system is easy. I bet on the blackest and darkest teams in college sports because uh, black the berry, sweeter the juice, and better the jump shot. I also got a sports betting angle that is foolproof. Since y'all want to let these all these transgenders up in the league, <laughs> that is full proof. Since y'all want to let all these transgenders up in the league, I became almost a millionaire betting on Leah Thomas's big ass winning all them swimming meets. And just like these <laughs> transgender swimmers, my swimmers are strong. That's why I got so many baby mamas. But you know what that means? <laughs> I got a lot of bills to pay, so I'm sick of risking my life and my freedom on gambling illegally on transgender athletes. So I beg you, Irving City Council, to please legalize sports gambling because I can't afford to be up in the <laughs> penitentiary doing five to ten years on some weak ass gambling charge. I also would like to like it if y'all could uh, give me some uh, rep rep uh, reputations. <laughs> because Irving is hella white and I'm hella black. My great grandfather was a slave in Mississippi, so y'all owe me for real. One minute left. And I'll I'll say one more time: you white city council people need to legitimize gambling and start putting y'all's money on these transgender swimmers because they got propellers in their back friendly swimsuits. <laughs> and remember to always bet on black. I always want to shout out to my homie, Demarcus Calloway, who is locked up for murder, but he didn't do anything wrong, but stab a police officer, which is according to the BLM movement, is okay. It's time to get paid, bitches. Legalize it and free my homie, Demarcus. <laughs> I don't know if, uh, I don't know Yo. if Alex Stein had something to do with that. I have a feeling he did. I saw he posted a link to it. Hey, what's up, everybody? I got some videos about P. Diddy or, or Diddy. Diddy, 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 Dom, Diddy, Diddy, do, Diddy, Diddy. Used to be Puff Daddy, Sean Combs. So Renee says, was that satire? I don't know. I think he was reading it and didn't seem to know exactly what he was saying. So I think maybe somebody put him up to it possibly and that he didn't even write it himself but it was still a good prank i think as far as pranks go so hey what's up what's up everybody happy thursday today's the day um tokyo vice episodes drop that's what we look forward to that's a good show on hbo so yeah pirate says it looks like it might have been stein it seems like it right it seems like it so I hope everybody's doing good. Gold, as of this moment, just pumped. Gold is doing well for people who are into that uh, barbarous relic, they call it. It's up to 2250. So I could show you the chart for that. Let's see. 2255 almost, just in the last few minutes of trading. So that's the gold chart right there. So that's the 15 minute chart. So it actually went up the most in the last few minutes of the day. The last 15 minutes of the day, it surged. So that's good news. It's good news for my gold stocks. Cadence, I often get confused about the day too, but it is actually Thursday. Yesterday, I had a few job interviews. One of them went really well, I think. So this could be one of the last shows. The last certainly almost daily shows. We'll see. Hopefully. Hopefully. I know that'll be come as sad news to people. 
but I couldn't make it work as a podcaster. I tried. I tried as hard as I knew how to. And wasn't able to make things happen. But you can still help out if you want to. You can contribute to the show by going to buymeacoffee.com slash lift the veil. That this has been my employment for nine years. Nine years. Uh, more like eight, eight and a half. Crazy. You guys have gotten to see me grow old. You've gone through it all with me. So thanks. I appreciate everybody who supported the show. And we'll see what happens. I guess I could still get disappointed, but I had one good thing happen yesterday. And then, and the numbers on my car were really good too. Like when I was pulling out to go there, my odometer was on 777. So that's good luck. So I think I had good luck yesterday. So thanks everybody who's thinking of me. But we might be graduating to a new part of our life. So anyway, if you want to support the show, go to buymeacoffee.com slash lift the veil. I really appreciate it. This is what I do at the moment. I prepare for the show. I read stuff on Twitter. I have a bunch of videos today about P. Diddy. There's a video about the um, eclipse. The eclipse is coming. Uh, April 8th. So there are changes happening in this world and cicadas are coming out at the same time. And CERN apparently is starting up April 8th. So we have a big eclipse in the United States of America. Now, if somebody should explain why it makes the trail it does, but we have a big eclipse coming up here in the United States of America. Thanks, King. What's up, King? It says, been here since the beginning, pretty much. You the man, Nate. Peace, respect always. Thank you very much. What could possibly go wrong? So we'll see. We have lots of changes coming up in this world. So I'll play you different videos. I'll play you all the people. Now everybody's talking about Diddy. So I'll play the different videos. A lot of people predicted, basically, that something would happen to Diddy. So I have LeBron James saying Diddy's parties are the best. I have Diddy on Nickelodeon. 50 Cent is really going hard on Diddy. 50 Cent seems to be the guy that's coming out the hardest against him. So and so, sort of spiking the football that he's getting in trouble. So yeah, Will says, Cat Williams warned everyone, all things done in darkness will be exposed to the light and the truth this year, 2024. So you thought last year was crazy. Elizabeth Marie says, Diddy is the diddler. Yeah, that's what they say. They even talked about it on MSNBC. I'll show you the clip. So thanks, everybody, for joining me. Thanks for all the support throughout the years. Appreciate you guys. Could have done it without you. And here's the intro. Okay, cue musical intro. Boy, that's brilliant. I do think some things in the world are real. Like you guys. You guys are real. Most of you. Most of my listeners, I think, are not just in my head. I think I have the metrics to prove it. You, you've taken a leap of faith today. What is that sound? And I apologize if you take offense. I'm a little offended myself. Welcome to our show. Welcome to the future. What it is. Joining you live from sunny California. It's a beautiful day today. I'm your host, Nathan Stoltman. And I bring you the news. The real news. Yes, yes. And Solana is up too, actually. And Bitcoin's over over 70K again. So everything's looking good today. Let me see Bitcoin. Bitcoin's at 70,759. It's up almost 2,000 bucks today. Solana's at 188. That's a good one. I hope people listening to the show got in on some of these investments when we talked about them when they were cheaper. We definitely have been talking about Solana for a long time, and it's at 188.4 right now, so that's looking good. So anyway, thanks everybody for tuning into the show. Here's Solana chart for today. So 
94. All right. Got to keep it going. All right. Let me play this Eclipse TikTok. There's not a single person on this earth that has ever seen an event like we are going to see on April 8th of 2024. This is the path that it will take, and these are the times that you'll be able to see it. Totality is going to last about four minutes and 35 seconds in some places. Now, compared to the total solar eclipse that we had in 2017, that one lasted about two minutes and 40. X Dr. Firefly, you still believe in Litecoin? Unfortunately, I don't believe in it anymore. But I sold it for Solana, and it was the best thing I ever did when Solana was like 20-something. So I had like a little bit of Solana until, because it went down, Solana went down to like $8 and now it's at almost 200. So yeah, Bitcoin, I mean, Litecoin, it's cool. You still believe in it. I hope it does well eventually. I don't know if it will though. So 43 seconds in some areas. So we're doubling that time this year. That's why it's something that no one has ever seen before. It's going to last for a long time compared to other total solar eclipses. The last one that was even close to this happened back in the 1800s. In a month, we are going to have two broods of cicadas come up from under the ground. Now, these two broods have not converged in over 200 years. And look at this map. See the light blue and the dark brown right there converging in Illinois? Yeah, that's the same spot where our two paths converge as well, Southern Illinois. So can, can you explain? I don't understand why, how the eclipse goes. It goes west to east, I guess. I don't understand exactly how it works and how it's different every time, how this one is going south to north and the other one went north to south and they both go west to east. Weird. So yeah, you have two cicada broods coming out okay. so yeah no one on earth has so ever this seen could be the year of like cicada. Coming next month we are going to have a total solar eclipse that lasts damn near five minutes in some areas and then we're going to have millions of cicadas that have been underground for either 13 or 18 years all coming up at I the same time seven and or they have not done that years. in over 200 years so if you are over 200 years old dm me but if not no one on this earth has seen like what's coming on april 8th I believe there may be vampires walking this earth. It's possible. So that's happening. I thought it was seven and 17 years for cicadas. 13 and 17. What did she say? 13 and 18. Nicholas Fre Federico, you sound like an expert because you say 13 and 17 years. It's very rare for it to happen at the same time. Yeah. Different breeds come out different amounts of time. I think there are, when I lived in Washington, D.C., we used to get cicadas on occasion, and they, like, blanket the sidewalk. You're just walking over dead cicadas constantly. Here's the video of uh, the raid on Diddy's house. So I was trying to see what they found. I was trying to see if there were, like, distribution centers for drugs or something. But this is the raid footage that was released they really ransacked it and who knows what they found there's a big teddy bear bunch of shoes got left behind safes were cracked into they must have made them open the case yeah they arrested judy's drug mule i have stories on that they say he might be the one that sings like a bird he might be the one that becomes a star witness. So they got his drug mule who was carrying a little cocaine and a little cannabis with him. So they say that they might, they, they arrested him so they could get him to turn on Diddy. Jan Bam, you thought I was interviewing, oh, the woman about the cicadas, the way I was talking to her. Soap Toaster says XRP. Boy, you're going to be holding that XRP wishing for a long time. Solana's way better. It's the superior cryptocurrency, Solana is. It can do everything. It's going to compete with Visa. 
In fact, Visa might work with Solana. I think they've run experiments with it. So anyway, this was the raid of the house. All right. Uh, don't know. Just a bunch of stuff ransacked. This is a guy who is Diddy's former bodyguard. He says that that drug mule might become a star witness. Here you go. But the way they did the search one and how they did it, I mean, I thought he was El Chapo or somebody. And Silver, so they took so a toaster. tactical team in there, brother. They had tactical units. So for them to have a team in New York, because they didn't really mention too much about New York. They had property in New York, property in Miami, and a property in L.A., all simultaneously hit. Those different agencies had to get together, plan that, and that's not no bull. It, it, you know, that's a lot of manpower, a lot of money. So they want to know uh, how they spent the taxpayer. The taxpayer's going to know why you spending my money on this to come up with nothing. So you best believe they had something in the first place to go up in there because they didn't have a search warrant for bodies. They had a search warrant for like materials, laptops, telephones, uh, uh, logs, pictures, tapes. You know, that's what they search warrant is for. They didn't have a search warrant for bodies. The, the news about them arresting the mule, now, they're going to have to prove that. Now, if that guy becomes a, a witness, and if they can track anything back to Puff with that, that's going to be one of their star witnesses. You can support the show by going to buymeacoffee.com slash lift the veil. I'll check it in about... Uh, 13 minutes when the cicadas come out. People are talking about 13 and 17 year cicadas coming out. Same year this year to 2024. Very rare. And then there's that cicada puzzle you might have heard about. Cicada 3301, which might have something to do with the year 2024. So here's the head of, former death row records head of security. He predicted that Diddy's homes would be raided. In this clip, but he need to build a spot over there in Bali for his boy Puffy. Puffy need. I warn Keefe D to take his ass over there. There's no extradition laws over there, so I'm warning you now, Puffy. Take your ass over there. Reggie prediction. I know Puffy is smart enough, and he probably didn't already clean his houses. But sex, sexual predators. What do they do? What do, and we'd be like, damn, why? They treat their sex tapes like, y'all yeah, remember that song, Me and My Girlfriend that Pac did? Mm. You know, what he was talking about? What was Pac talking about, y'all? And that, do y'all really know what he was talking about? For those of y'all know what he's talking about, he's talking about a gun, but sexual predators is what hold on to their tapes. Mm. And cops know that. So I wouldn't be surprised if some storages or some of Puffy properties be getting raided real soon because they need to get to those tapes. They get one of those tapes with him with those little people that's been making the accusations. Woo! Man. <laughs> Done. <laughs> but Puffy the type here, he'll blow his brains out. Guarantee y'all, <laughs> oh, wow. or do like he did on that that court screw uh, uh, lie. How he did? We know what you did, Puff. Misa told us, nigga, you slit your wrist. He gonna do something stupid like that. Yep. Wow, that's crazy. He's predicting suicide. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That happened uh, three months ago. So lots of people were making predictions, including that psychic, that he was going to get raided, and Cat Williams. So he's claiming uh, he'll commit suicide. 
So here's uh, rapper Uncle Luke saying he revealed everything he knows about Diddy's parties. Hold on one sec. Okay, I'll show you that. This is Uncle Luke, rapper Uncle Luke, revealing what he knows about Diddy's party. Did you, but did you party with Diddy a lot? Oh, uh, no, not really. I would go to the party and, and leave early. Why wouldn't you stay? Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I go to the party and leave early. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I wasn't invited to too many of those parties. Why didn't I mean, you? To, why didn't you stay late, like after hours? Was it, I, did I it get know. crazy after that, or what? I, I don't know what goes on after part after hours, but he wasn't trying to find out. I wasn't trying to find out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know my place. You, you feel? Yeah, I know my place. Yeah. You know, so I, I went to a couple. Um, uh, what it is? Uh, uh, New Year's Eve party. Right. I mean, I know, I know Puff before Puff became super big like that. You know. A cool dude. I mean, all the shit going on with him. You know, I feel sorry for him and his family, more right. so his kids. His kids, yeah. Do you, but right did shit. you party with Diddy a lot? Mm. Oh no, no, not really. I would go to. He would go to the parties and leave early. Okay, that wasn't much of a story. Diddy allegedly paid Instagram model Jade Ra Ramey a monthly stipend for sex work. The lawsuit says. And she, I think that's the one who used to be 50 Cent's girlfriend or something. He, 50 Cent learned that his girlfriend was being paid. So this is a story. Did he allegedly paid Instagram model Jane Ramey monthly stipend for sex work? Um, this is Diddy on Nickelodeon. And we just found out Nickelodeon had at le uh, employed at least five sexual predators. So, was Puff Daddy one of the? So here's this gross skit where people are pouring stuff on. What are we gonna do? I don't know. You know, in situations like this, yes, I always ask myself, what would P Diddy do? Oh, what would P Diddy do? No, I don't know. Hey, let's ask him. There's P Diddy on Nickelodeon. You can't wake up Shane. You try symbols? Yep. What about sour milk? Didn't work. Tell you what. Take this toy helicopter. Put it down his pants. <laughs> That's kind of... Nickelodeon did some messed up skits. That's pretty messed up, actually. Didn't work. He's still asleep. Try this. This is crazy. Jelly, by all means. He's got a helicopter in his pants. It's inappropriate for kids to stuff on Nickelodeon, pretty much. So that's that's him on Nickelodeon saying he should put, shove a helicopter down a kid's pants and then turn it on. All right, here's 50 Cent posted this, which was a link to part of the lawsuit. It says Mr. Combs had hidden cameras in every room of his home, has recordings of several celebrities, artists, music label executives, and athletes engaging in illegal activity. These individuals were recorded without their knowledge and consent. Mr. Combs possesses co compromising footage of every person who has attended his freak off parties and his house parties. And 50 Cent says, SMH, this is going to be so good. What you want to bet I'm to get those tapes. I'll pay top dollar for them. You've been over there. I don't go to Puffy's parties, he said. Um, who's... Oh, here's LeBron James saying Puffy's parties are the best. Oh, hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party. So yeah, yeah. that's what's up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you hey, go. Everybody know ain't so ain't no party like a Diddy party. Um, let's see. I got more. There is this exclusive. I don't have that. That's all right. No problem. I got more videos. Enes says a person selected must be selected before they can 
gain access to Diddy's private parties. It reveals individuals must meet specific criteria, including fitting a certain description, body type, mannerisms, appearance, and mentality. Also, he says the way they attack you is by sending in a questionable male stylist on photo and video shoots. All right, so I'm going to close a bunch of tabs. And then I have a long clip from Fox News I'm going to play for you. Here's this. Mm -hmm. He always respected me as a um, lyricist and as a writer. Mm -hmm. And that's what kept me up there from 2002 to 2009. But did you at least see any parties or been to his parties? The infamous Diddy parties that everybody talks about? I've been to the parties, but like I said, I I, I don't know. They select you. You be, you're you selected. Be, be, so, be more descriptive. I'm going to be said. more selective. You yeah. have to fit a, a certain description. Mm -hmm. You have to fit a certain mannerism for you to be led down that hallway with the door. Whoa, 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 I'm giving it to you real. You have to fit a certain description, a certain mannerism, a body type, a type of mannerism, a type of mentality for you to get led down that hallway with the door. Somebody said a pretty looking boy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Tell me, what I want to ask you at that time, like, 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 why? Why am I being excluded from this? You didn't, that didn't like raise your antennas of, of that? Me being young and at that time, I just wanted to be famous and I wanted to be a superstar off of rap yeah, music. Well, something you didn't want to be in those parties? Nah, was, nah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something's behind that closed door, right? Bro, but it wasn't out like it is now. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, right. but you want to know. You can go you on the internet. And but he's probably not looking at it It's like not that. out like it is right. now. It was still taboo. Nobody was speaking on it. Yeah, you, you couldn't speak on it. You didn't have a network of people that could huddle up and talk about it. Yeah, the, that outwork, that network of people outweighed yours by far. Yeah, right. yeah, you right. would get it's pushed into a little corner talking about, talk about who's though. this and right. who's that. Yeah. You would run into a brick wall because yeah. it would be those on the other side. Yeah, yeah. I, I, no, I know I, what I you're wanna, Let me keep it a bean with you. The way they attack you is through photo shoots and video shoots. They send in the stylist. If you're getting your hair braided, one of those two guys might be not the way you th think they should be. Mm -hmm. And if you're showing them the most love and yippity yappity with them, that's the battlefield. That's mm -hmm. where they see, oh, he had a lot of rap for the guy yeah, over yeah, here. Right, 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 ah, right, right, he's yeah, one yeah. of them. All right, all right. That's, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's what I'm he talking about. They can see who it is. Who, yeah. who, yeah, who they it just is. Get yeah. less. I wear my pants off my ass. I wear jersey. I just smoke weed all day. I'm bringing bitches in and out the house. He's not, Ness is that's not right. the candidate. That's right. That's right. Ness is not the candidate. Ness is not the candidate for the bullshit. You wasn't like that. No. Who out the group of that who y'all was with was kind of kind of I don't know. I, I was paying attention to the bitches. <laughs> so he's talking about being gay, uh, obviously. And he's not a homo. So there's homo stuff going behind the door. Hey, thanks, job for nine. Thanks for the $20 super chat. That's super nice. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Thanks to the 150 people who are here, too. I also did get a coffee. Uh, from down at Vices, who says the year of truth is 2024. Only three more red heifers, I heard. All right. Thanks for that, down at Vices. Thanks for the coffee. And thanks to the person who sent me uh, Cash App, too. You guys are super generous. I appreciate you. Thanks so very much. I appreciate you. All right. So, yeah, that was that. You have to be a little homo, little light in the loafers. Here's a clip that showed on uh, MSNBC where someone says, uh, they were an intern for Sean Diddy Combs. Here we go. Listen to this. I got this. Was that too loud? Yeah, it was a little loud. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Make sure to give me some likes. We're at 46 likes. We could be way higher with 150 people tuned in. So go ahead and hit that like button. So I'll show up in the in your feed more often. That helps with the algo rhythm. The algorithm of life. All right, I'll play this too. It's Over giving R. Kelly to right. It's giving. It's 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 disturbing. You know, I was personally disturbed many years ago. Okay, I I I know this man well enough to call him and say, "Hey, I need a favor." Yeah. And this might have been 10, 12 years ago that I called him and say, "Hey, I have a family member who I want you to hire them as an intern." Yeah. And, <laughs> 
Uh, this guy kind of looks like he's wearing a disguise, right? <laughs> like a wig, glasses, and a nose or something. He kind of looks like he's wearing a disguise, even though that's his real look. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Sorry. I'll rewind a little bit. 10, 12 years ago that I called him and say, I have a family member who I want you to hire them as an intern. Yeah. And uh, I have never talked about this publicly. And I And he said, yes. And they were flying around, one of the interns, Atlanta, Miami, whatever, on the jet, in the house, whatever. And then the internship stopped abruptly, like three or four months into it. Yeah. And I spoke to my family member, like, well, what happened? And they wouldn't say. Yeah. And I'm like, what, what do you, why did it end? He wouldn't yeah. say. And <laughs> years later, they finally came out, and this is a male, yeah. and said that uh, Puff had said, come home, stay the night with me, or the internship is over. And they said, absolutely not. He said, absolutely not. And the internship ended. Uh, but from there, I was like, oh, like oh, this is this is God. how it goes. OK. Yeah. OK. So to hear that things went even further with potentially, allegedly many other people. Yeah, it, it, it's it's not I don't it, you know, we, we feel like we've seen this coming. Well All right. You see that we've seen it coming. And there's just it's tons of gay stuff. Tons of gay stuff. And here's another clip about more gay stuff going on. And then I have that Fox News. Oh, and then there was Kanye West. Okay. So I'll play more clips. Here's uh, Sorry. Cocaine. Guy's name is Cocaine. K-O-K-N-E. So there is a story about pink cocaine, which apparently is called Tucci. I didn't know about that. So, and people are wondering if Justin Bieber got the treatment. Yeah, Justin Bieber, the Justin Bieber clip is sketch for sure. So here's a guy saying that, talking about the gay stuff that's going on from the 5150 show. Here we go. Listen to this. Oh, yeah. Nah. That, cause go, look, go, nah, Mac, go Mac wanted me to motherfucking bring up all that. But you work with look, Puffy. You look, work with Puffy, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, I work with him. He he, he uh, flew me out to, you know, Miami. Yeah. And, when he uh, got asked this nigga that he party. Yeah. No, no. No, no. Listen to me. This is real shit. So I, when I went out there, please, you know, it was cool. And I worked pretty quick. So he left for a little bit. Then came back to the studio. I had the song talk done. Sometimes I feel like I'm lonely. He was like, oh, B, that's hard. Woo, woo, woo. I like, oh, because he love above the law. Uh, I love NWA, cocaine. So he took me out. He said, we're going out tonight, right? So I was like, oh, shit, that's Puff Daddy. Yeah. Right, you went out yeah. with him. Yeah, so we got We ain't going to judge yet. This story got to yeah, end. Yeah. Don't jump yeah. ahead. That's Go it. ahead, cocaine. So I <laughs> hop in the whip, whip with him. You know, you hopped in the whip with him. Yeah. All right. The the the, the brother pulled out. No bullshit. No. Wait, just... Okay, go ahead, my man. I'm fucking with you. The brother pulled out these things, and it was these pills. It was an ashtray full of ecstasy. He said, "You want one?" I said, "Nah, man, I don't do that. I only smoke weed." So we go to this club, popping club, and we go to the, the first floor. And it's cool. Popping, everybody's hey, we ain't getting on doing anything, right? Yeah. Doing anything. But then we go to like second floor and it's kind of different. But then we go to the third floor, the upper room. Not the third floor, the yeah. upper room. Oh, fuck with look, you. I look, to, I look, to the, us, I look to the right, men's kiss this man, men's kissing. It. Nigga, I looked at that puppy like, nigga, where are you? Cut me at, homie. Well, nigga, where you got me at, homie? Right. He knew I was uncomfortable, so he dropped me off immediately. Okay. And that was that, and I left well, the next day. But that's respect. Okay. Yeah, that was. He, he still yeah. tried to see what's up, but yeah, he realized. Nah. So actually, Puffy a G. Yeah. He tried to even pull that with you in any way. Nah, I wasn't. Yeah, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> <He's> like, uh, <laughs> come he on, did man. not oh, offer God. to take you shopping, though. No, no, no. <laughs> I think the nigga did, did try to bait me in, though, but I'm like, come on, man. He was trying to see how you was moving, because yeah. all you got to do most of the time is just throw the alley-oop to most of these motherfuckers. Like, Lil' Rail, they be like, how do I do? Yeah, because at that time, P, 
um, you know, it was cracking. I was on the last meal, uh, Dr. Dre Chronic 2001. So he was, you know, besides the bug alone, he was like, man, huh, you cool. Huh, huh. Yeah. And right. this is what year was that? Wait, a, this was uh in 2000. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That was yeah, like, that was my puppy story. Okay, That's, hey, but go. that puffy story deep, because mm -hmm. let me tell you yeah. something. I didn't heard a lot of them just like that. Yeah. They I didn't try go. to throw alley oops yeah. at niggas. First of all, I'm too scared to get in a car yeah, with any cool. nigga yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I was at my motherfucking uncle funeral. I was like, hey, I ain't getting in the car with y'all. I'll follow you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll follow you. I'll be too scared to get in cars with guys, but yeah. especially yeah. strangers. Yeah. It was an experience, you know, to do music, but then it, it was uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So there you go. That's the real shit. Uh, black people are funny, huh? It's different than white people shows. <laughs> I think I kind of like the style. They're in the barber shop and the one everybody's talking, everybody's kicked back. A lot of times they're drinking Ciroc or something. <laughs> Pretty funny. So he says there'd be, there'd be men's kissing. So this is where uh, Diddy's job was to collect blackmail on celebrities, wealthy individuals who engage in homosexual or pedophilic activities. I don't know if you, it's, it's kind of weird because it's with young teenage girls, I think like under the age of consent, maybe, or at least under the age of 18. And then a lot of them are doing sex work. So I think that's what it is. I don't know if that's technically pedophilia, which is for, I think, prepubescent girls, but all the same, all the same. It's underage girls at these parties, apparently, and then gay stuff, which, which is like a taboo. So here's uh, Tanya. My daughter in public, and I didn't have the address of my child. None of these niggas that want to say something Travis now. Gave you the address, though, Travis right? gave me the address. Right. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'll get fuck who, because you can't shoot nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks because you did a deal, you fucking fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to come at me because part of the deal for you to be a daughter da, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're going to go pull my co-car. So y'all niggas shut the fuck up about me. Now let me say it calm. You niggas shut the fuck up about <laughs> you shut the fuck up about Michael. Right. Getting out my daughter. Michael. Michael Jackson. Michael Jordan. That's a good one. So you feds. So here's the expose on uh fox news which is pretty good i think i can play fox news clips without them hitting me with um strikes and stuff so let me play this from fox news billionaire hip-hop mogul sean diddy combs had his miami and la homes turned upside down in an alleged sex trafficking raid conducted by homeland security a producer's lawsuit accusing diddy of being worse than jeffrey epstein TMZ has footage of Diddy's L.A. house after the feds ripped it apart. Drawers on the floor, safes cracked into, documents rifled through, electronics seized. TMZ reporting that agents zeroed in on Diddy's hard drives. Tonight, Diddy's whereabouts still unknown. His alleged drug mule, a former Syracuse basketball player, was arrested at Miami airport, and he's been accused of acquiring and distributing Diddy's drugs and guns. But how was this allowed to get so big and so bad? Diddy, one of the biggest names in the music business, three Grammys, a long list of Billboard hits, and side ventures making him a billionaire for two decades. Diddy was the Democrats' biggest black celebrity influencer. In 2004, Diddy spearheaded the voter die movement at the DNC. We're spreading a simple, urgent message, vote or die. Yes, it's that serious. They used to joke around about us, about say we were disenfranchised, we were too lazy to vote. On November 3rd, they won't be laughing no more. The youth of America will have the last laugh. And black America listened. See, this is how he got himself out of trouble, right? So he shot somebody in a club and Shine went to jail for it. People said vote or die, people voted because Puffy said vote or die. Vote or die. 
you know, if he affected me, then he must have affected millions of uh, us black, young, young black people. I voted for Kerry just because. Obviously, I voted for Kerry, so. I voted for, I voted for John Kerry. 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 I voted for you're one of the few politicians that young people relate to. And we want to just hit a message on why you feel it's important for them to vote this year. I really think that this year, more than any other, uh, young people have their entire futures at stake. And I believe your slogan, vote or die, is accurate. What's Did he accurate says young about people that? relate to Hillary? How are they going to die? Why are they going to die? They didn't die. George W. Bush won. In that election, it must have been 2004. If I'm, yeah, it must have been 2004. George W. Bush against John Kerry, the two from Skull and Bones. How much did that cost? Here he is with Barack. When you want to be the president of the United States, you, you call your man, call MTV. Thank you. And, <laughs> and, and I just want to say how much I appreciate Puff Dan. For, for doing the kinds of work that he's doing because he doesn't have to do this. And I want to apologize for not sweating, but I but I do this so much. I, I'm so cool. I just want y'all to see everybody I'm interviewing is sweating. I'm not even touching my brow. I'm so cool. And I want to apologize. I ain't trying to make you look bad or nothing like that, but I'm just so cool. Um, and we, 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 we. A T-shirt. <laughs> I tell you, if he was wearing one of those fancy designer clothes he's designing, he'd be sweating just like me. In 2008, Diddy went from vote or die to Obama or die. My name is Barack Obama. No, my name is not Barack Obama. My name is Barack Obama. It's very important that you do not believe the polls. The polls are trying to say that my brother from another mother, Barack Obama, is up leading in the polls. I think he was gay with Barack. Point. Don't believe that, brother. See, this is where we mess up. We start believing in the heart and we get too comfortable. Be ready to stand in the lines. Let's keep the heat on. Let's bring it home. And then in 2020, Diddy went on a media tour for Biden. White men like Trump need to be banished. That way of thinking is real dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, this man literally um, threatened the lives of us and our families about going to vote. When you look at it, we don't have no choice. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can say what you want about Biden. I, I, I can't say I love the pick either, but hey, we got to get him in office mm -hmm. and then we got to hold him accountable. Democrats use Diddy's charisma, star power, and street cred in the black community every single election. For Diddy, this was a business opportunity. He was blessed by the professional class and commercialized. He was in the back pocket of the powerful and that made him powerful with a free pass. He was so loved that New York City Mayor Eric Adams handed him the key to the city. Hey, yo, New York! New York, we did it! Harlem, we did it, Mount Vernon, we did it! The Bronx, we did it! Let's go! The key to the city! Yeah, 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 I'm coming to the garden with this Then I'm gonna be in Brooklyn this Sunday. I'm not playing with you, New York. I'm gonna give you this love. It's a love. Rampage. Diddy didn't just have the key to the city. He had the key to the country. He endorsed the Democrats, politicked for them, and got souls to the polls, as they say. But there was more to it than that. He was a political enforcer. I was banished. I was exiled. I was canceled multiple times. All of the usual suspects, the handlers, Dave Chappelle, Meek Mills, Diddy, uh, all these people aren't in position. Now, for us as celebrities, they got to call them. Put a leash on him. What are we gonna do with Ye? Diddy, give him a call. Tell him, tell him we ain't like the T-shirt. Tell him like right now the agenda is this is this is the voting agenda for the celebrities for the black. Make him do exactly what LeBron would do. Make him do exactly what Drake would do. Diddy knows the celebrity agenda for voting, especially for black celebrities. It's Democrat. And if you get out of line, you get a call from Diddy. What did he get in exchange for all of this political influence? According to the bombshell lawsuit filed by his former producer, Rodney Little Rod Jones, Diddy was allowed to wreak havoc. The legal complaint alleges Diddy bragged about getting away with shooting people and that his head of security had the power to make problems and people disappear. 
Diddy was never charged for the nightclub shooting involving his ex-girlfriend, J-Lo. His prodigy, mm -hmm. Shine, took the fall. Mm -hmm. There was also a shooting inside one of his studios. Again, no charges. The complaint says Diddy's head of security paid off law enforcement. The lawsuit claims Diddy had an affiliation with local gangs and gang leaders who would frequent his homes. Little Rod alleges he witnessed Diddy distributing guns from his bedroom closet in Miami and L.A. to questionable individuals dressed in all black. Last night, we described the allegations surrounding freak-off parties at his homes where sex workers and underage girls were given laced drinks. These parties were attended by celebrities, politicians, athletes, and music label executives. His former producer claims every room in Diddy's homes wired with hidden cameras. And these parties were sponsored by Universal Music, Motown Records. The complaint says there was blackmail, piles of narcotics, and grooming of young and aspiring talent. This lifestyle has been simmering under the surface for years. I call him and say, I go. have a family member who I want you to hire that. them. All right, that's enough of that, Fox News. Pretty good expose, though. So, yeah, he was protected. So that's that's the story about Diddy. Thanks for the kind words. People said it was a good show. Thanks for that. We appreciate it. We wanted to show you guys what was going on with Diddy, show you some clips. So I have finally some – the only – Oh, I want to show you about some. So that's the story about Diddy. Okay. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Good to see all you people here. If you want to get a t-shirt, go to truthclothing.io. That's our website. We have, you can get these propaganda shirts while they're still on sale. So truthclothing.io. We have our propaganda with all the news organizations. We have our decentralized tea. Truth matters. Question everything. Just some awesome t-shirts, great reviews on these shirts. We have Bitcoin shirts too. We even have Litecoin shirts for cheap. Bitcoin shirts are cheap. We have a markdown of 15 bucks. You can get your Nassim t-shirt still made in the USA. Freedom of voice. Check it out. Truthclothing.io. Buy yourself a t-shirt today. And we'll ship it out right from this storage room right here where we have all of our t-shirts surrounding us. All right, let me show you uh, um, this story about how they just magically found 10,000 mail-in ballots at this race. Here, listen to this. This race, and really the big question now in Chicago. election integrity. How does such a massive number of mail-in ballots not be tallied up on election day? According to the Chicago Tribune, as of last night, take a look at your screen here. Former Judge Eileen O'Neill Burke is leading over Clayton Harris III by less than 1%. That's roughly 1,500 votes separating these two candidates out of about a half a million votes. This is a dramatic change because just after Election Day, O'Neill Burke was 10,000 votes ahead of her opponent, mm -hmm. only to find out that 10,000 mail-in votes were left off over the weekend. We know these ballots are now being accounted for, and the election board admitted to making the mistake. They blamed it on speed over accuracy. Mm -hmm. You're looking at a human speed. error, and he's standing in front of you. Uh, he did not add two and two together in the rush. It makes there you this go. race, and really the big there question now. So that's in a race where there's a tough on crime person in Chicago where they found mail in ballots. All right, let me show you this AI stuff. I'll show you some of the latest advancements with AI, deep fakes. Here you go. Here are some deep fake AI productions. Here's Brock. Some people are losing their minds because the video below would be AI generated. I'm also a deep fake and you should take care when you watch a video on the internet. See you soon. Some pretty people good, are losing right? their- That's pretty good. Here's Lex Friedman. This video was entirely generated by the deep fake model of Argyll AI. It allows you to generate videos of yourself in any language in less than two minutes. You can also translate your production at the speed of light and distribute your content worldwide. This video was entirely generated. I by told you guys, the see, that's what's going to happen is I'm going to retire and then turn in and then offer my soul video wise to people to just write scripts for me and pretend they're me. 
That's what you can do with AI. Here's this is a entirely AI. Well, it's not entirely AI. It's based on a real person. This is based on a real person, but this it's all a script. Okay, so check this out. So let me get this straight. You guys are telling me that when you're out of the house for hours, you're comfortable walking around with all that stanky body odor that's been building up on you all day. What's even crazier is that some of you are applying deodorant on top of that odor, which is honestly probably making it worse. Let me tell you what I do. It's a little hygiene hack. My friend told me about these cloths from Get Dirty. They were originally formulated for firefighters to remove carcinogens off their skin, which means these wipes don't play games like other wipes on the market. They are antibacterial and actually lift and remove sweat, dirt, and odors, making these the one and only total refresh shower on the go solution. After you use these, your skin will have a soapy, clean smell. You will instantly feel. There so let me get this. So that's generated by AI. That girl, she's she's like a Fiverr contributor or something that licensed herself. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to license myself and then get paid to do ads or something for whatever. Here's the same girl again. I'll show you this. Here's the same girl again. AI though, all generated by AI. Okay, Anon, this is not a drill. I just paid the 100 RO to try out this new tool and OMG, this is actually insane. Ice cream, so good gang gang so it cost me 10 euro to make this ai generated video so obviously i'll tell you to sign up to let's.ai but i mean this is crazy like how would anyone be able to tell that i'm an ai character well plot twist i'm not just any run of the mill ai i am actually satoshi nakamoto also the file format gif is pronounced like this gif hey and if you want me to say something for you, just leave me your text here in the replies. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Never going to run around and desert you. There you go. Okay, I crazy, know, right? Not a drill. So that's pretty crazy. Yep. And they'll, they'll be, they could do it with me. So yeah, it's insane, right? Vegan, vegan droid. You're a droid. You said you're, you're a veg Android or a vegan droid. So pretty crazy all right let me see hmm, rumors are circulating okay i just got a tweet from somebody this would be rumors rumors are circulating that justin bieber was drugged and raped that universal ceo universal music group ceo lucy and grange took part in having young justin bieber drugged and raped repeatedly by pedophiles in the music industry. That's a rumor circulating. All right, cool. We got up to 200 people today. Hopefully you hit like on the video. If you want to drop me a coffee, that would be awesome. I really appreciate your support. Thanks for the super chats today. We got two of them. Uh, thanks for the coffee I got and thanks for the donos. Appreciate you guys. And, um, we will see you at the next one. It should be live tomorrow. Should be live tomorrow with another show. The 2 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Thanks everybody for tuning in and we'll see you at the next one for now.